Hey everyone, welcome to and back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. As I said, I'll be doing a What Fit for Denise Nano, my newest edition from Louis Vuitton. If you are new or have not watched my unboxing, feel free to check it out on my channel. It will also be linked at the end. Let's get started. So I will be doing this in different categories for what fits. It will be what will fit as a makeup bag, what will fit as a toiletry slash travel, and what will fit as an everyday mini bag, which people are using this as a mini handbag. So here's this quick 360 of it. I'm not going to go too much into review because I did that on the unboxing video. I also did mod shots so you can see what it looks like compared to my body and how it would look as a mini handbag. So then once again, this is the Nice Nano. This is the smallest out of the Nice Nanos or I'm sorry, the smallest out of all the Nieces from Louis Vuitton. I unzip it. So the zipper isn't super bad, which I am grateful for. One trick I definitely recommend if you get this item is that when it comes to zipping it, put your thumb on top or in the middle right here. So kind of like you're pushing it and that helps the zipper um, come out better because you're pushing it instead of, you're pushing it and it has the zipper come along. If that makes sense, you'll see when I zip it back and forth. So this is what the inside looks like. It is one department. There is no pockets or slits inside the Nice Nano. You just have this one big space right here. So let's get started of what will fit as a makeup bag. So I'm not a huge makeup person, so I apologize in advance. So I gather all of my makeup products or close to makeup products. So hopefully this will help you sort out if this will be the right size for you. So I have my lip products, my lip products. And there you go they all fit pretty well next I will use my eyebrow products so fits really well the only eyebrow um, pencil I would say will probably might give you trouble is the Anastasia Beverly Hills because it's really long so it might um, even if you put this right now or at the end it's going to stick out a little bit or it's going to put pressure by you see how it's kind of already um, sticking it towards the side of the Nice Nano so that's why I I don't use this in general because I'm not a fan of the product but if you are someone that has Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil um, the brow width definitely keep that in consideration it might be sticking or pointing towards your Nice Nano on the side so I'm not going to use this but just to um, put that in there in case you are someone that has it. So my eyebrow pencil that I love and use is the e.l.f. one because it's short, it's thick, and it just goes in really well. A hand cream lotion, this is from Chanel, and that fits in too. Some perfumes, travel size, so it fits really nice as well this is also a travel size container from chanel you can put um any liquid product maybe a serum maybe a lip product um eyebrow powder so this this is a lotion i got from sephora they gave it to me for free so let's pretend this is your powder and that fits in pretty well to my chanel double compact mirror so I'll just put it on top, but it can also probably go in like that. So now let's zip her up. So like I said, when it comes to zipping, it's really good to just put your thumb, like you're pushing it in, and then the other zipper. And I like to keep it zip in the middle. I think it's really pretty like that. Let's see, there you go. And there you go, everything fits. It's not super heavy, it's still, um, top handle carry i don't feel like i'm going to like strain the top handle it feels really good it's not um distorting or bulging out or anything it still looks very nice so that fits in pretty well so if you are someone that likes to carry fragrances coco mademoiselle body lotion in case you are curious or if you have a product this size so it does 
fit, but you cannot close your niece nano. So if you're okay with it having just stand, then it will fit, but it won't fit closing. You could do it this way and it will close, but my problem is similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hill. You can see how the top is um, kind of like pressing against the side of the nano, and I feel that's gonna stretch it out. So I personally would not put this inside. Chanel fragrance, and let's see how that fits. So that fits inside too. Not closed because it's a little bit too tall, but you can put it away this side and it's not um, stretching out this side you still have room so that fits and then I have my YSL Libre and you can stand it up that way because it's short so you have a secret secret fragrance so that fits as well short too so you can stand it up perfumes so I can probably can I stand this up? Yeah, I can probably stand that up. So let's see. So they're both standing up pretty well. Can this? No, this one's too long to stand up. So I have to put it like this. But it still fits. So let's zip it up. The fact that it comes with two zippers, so you're not like straining one zipper. And there you go. It's a bit heavier than last time because of the um, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle but it fits really nicely. So that's if you wanna use it to carry your fragrance or perfume, because I know there's a lot of perfume collectors and lovers out there. So we're gonna see how what fits as a toiletry slash travel. Okay, you can use this as a hotel trip or maybe you're sleeping over someone's house last minute. So here I have my Chanel drawstring and what I have inside is sleeping mask eye drops and then I have my hair my hair scarf so I'm gonna put that all inside so let's see so that fits inside pretty well deodorant so can okay, see so you could possibly stand the stand up the deodorant but it's not it's a little bit too long so you're probably gonna have to keep it flat or put it sideways and then, let's see, here, I'm gonna stand it up, put it flat, lotion is right there in the corner. Two. Toothbrush, I believe it's gonna be too long. Yeah, my toothbrush is too long, but of course you can always get those travel size toothbrush and toothpaste, which will be shorter and smaller, and that should fit in really well as well. Yeah, that will possibly fit. Or you can just go for that travel size perfume. It'll be like this. So there you go. And what else? In case you want an eyebrow product. That will fit. And then I have hand lotion from Chanel. So sometimes I really recommend just like those travel size, um, travel size sizes that are really good. Lip balm. I have to have that nighttime keep my lips moisturized um maybe a compact mirror probably put it right on top uh, maybe another eyebrow product and like i said or if i haven't said this is definitely something you can put your feminine products so like tampons your pads that should be able to fit inside medication that you need that will fit also inside should be as well um, so just when it comes to products like a hairbrush probably won't fit inside a long or thick one But if you have like those travel size hairbrushes or combs that especially you can flip inside Then you can possibly fit that similar to a smaller toothbrush smaller um, toothpaste um, I would say floss can fit. I saw a girl on youtuber on YouTube and she had um, a retainer Case so you can put a retainer inside of here if that's what you need so let's say you have, this is my AirPod, but let's say you have something similar to this size that you need. So let's see. That should fit. Yeah, that will fit as well. Like right here, got almost got caught. And then there. Fits really nice. It's not super heavy because you have like that drawstring that's a lightweight. Instead of having everything chaotic, it's a little bit organized. So there is an organizer for Denise Nano. It's from Samora. It comes to 
luxury items um, from like Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Every time a product comes out, they always does comes out with an organizer um, size as the space that you give. But you see how I can like put things on top of each other, pile them on top of each other. Whereas the organizer, I can't really do that. You have to have like amount of pockets or slits and you can probably put it like behind or in front of each other but I'm not sure if it gives me more room as without an organizer. So next we're going to see what will fit as an everyday mini bag. So like I said this is really important for some people because they definitely want to buy this just to use this as an everyday mini bag because it is under a thousand dollars and Louis Vuitton's handbags are now over a thousand dollars which is crazy. So this is my iPhone case. I have an iPhone 7, so that fits inside really well. I know an iPhone 4 will fit, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7. I'm not sure about an iPhone 8. I do know that an iPhone 11 Pro thin case does fit. Um, I think an iPhone 12 may fit, but I'm not sure. But for sure, I know an iPhone 11 thin pro case will fit. I've seen bigger iPhones or like Samsung's fit and what they do is just they kind of um, slit it, I slit it, but put it at a certain angle. But for sure an iPhone 7 does fit. Pochette, the mini pochette will fit. So I would say it does and it does not because it is sticking out. Let's see if we put this inside. Yeah, I won't say. I mean, it can kind of fit, but I'm scared of crushing it in a way, but I wouldn't try. I'm gonna try to put the mini pochette without the items inside. Yeah, I mean, it could, but I honestly, I wouldn't risk it. I don't wanna ruin the mini pochette, and I don't wanna ruin my niece Nano. You can probably play with it more when you get yours, or if you have yours to see, but I think the mini pochette will not fit. I believe the Toy Street Pouch 15 could possibly fit because it's more square. I have my key pouch, so that fits perfectly. And then I have a card holder and sanitizer. So you can stand it up or put it flat. Put it so you can stand it up. I love that you can stand it up. Eyebrow pencil, put it right here. Compact mirror, I can probably put it behind where my phone is. So you still have like space in the back of the phone, which is really nice. So you can probably put it right there, which is really good to have. My AirPods, that is a must. So I can probably stand it. There you go. And there, everything fits. It's not super heavy, so that's why people are buying um, D-rings and they attach their D-rings and then they attach a strap and they wear it as a full-on shoulder bag or a crossbody. Just wanna take out my Chanel card holder, keep in my hand sanitizer, AirPods, Stand it up, AirPod, uh, so a longer lip product that fits in as well. A carry-on hand lotion. Let's say I wanna do a lipstick, so that fits in good. A fragrance, so that fits in really well. So I have my phone, my key pouch, my hand sanitizer, all of my products or essentials and then I have my AirPod and I'm pretty much good to go. That's all I would really need. And then zip it up. And then there. Really nice, not super heavy. I feel comfortable carrying it as a top handle, but of course you have that option to get your D-rings and attach a strap and you can wear it as a crossbody. So there you have it, you guys. I hope that answered all your questions. Of course, comment down below if you are curious about other things. Hopefully, I haven't, and I can try that out or try that out on a next video. Hope you enjoy. Please give me a big like. Comment down below. It definitely helps me, and of course, I love chatting with you. 
definitely check out my unboxing video and you will definitely will still see more of her. I can't wait to explore with her and have you guys join me along. Thank you for watching. If you are still new and you like what you see, please feel free to explore my channel. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Till next time, bye!